Welcome to Pack Valham, and here I am with the penultimate Scott vs. Ranks challenge. And I, I'm gonna. Uh, you know, you know how I rhymed there. I want to say thanks, Ranks, for the the the, the wise tips, the, the comments that you left. The thanks and Ranks almost rhyme. Um, anyway, this, the challenge is simple. The first three words must rhyme. Does that does not necessarily mean the endings? Like, for example, I could I could have something that rhyme. Like, uh, I could do chair, which ends with a i r, and I could do there t h e r e. But then, what would rhyme with those two? I don't have to go with those. Blade, blade, no. Um, I, um, oh, yeah, um, I'm not going to be writing any code this time. And something I should do, I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier, is pause the recording until I talk or make a guess. So... Yeah, I don't have a lot of footage, we're just be trying a bunch of things and stuff, trying to think of it, because I'm not talking. It'll save recording time. And actually, I'm going to start with there. And chair. Checks two more vowels. Another spot for that yellow R. Uh, I mean, it repeats the H, but that, that, that's okay. And I will pause until I think of a good guess that rhymes with those words. I am aware that it uses the R in the same place as this R, but it checks another spot for the A. Alright, and now I don't have to rhyme anymore, I can just solve for it like normal. Okay, well, do we know where the A is? Well, A is not first because it's yellow there. Could be second. It's A is not third because you can see it. It's gray there because it's the second. Now we know there's not two A's. And it's yellow there. Uh, could be fourth, and we know it's not last because we know E is there. Uh, I don't think it's going to end with A E. Uh, I don't know. A second. Now, um, I I've heard. Wordle does not, I mean, the answers don't end, like, past tense or plurals, like, or plurals with S, or past tense with D, but actually, I know it ends with E, but I'm, we'll check for a D and confirm where the A is, I was I see, I, okay, to me, the, my, I saw my face cam preview was frozen for a few seconds there. Well, will it look like that for you? I don't know. Well, I didn't even know there was a B. And also, I didn't know where the R was, so I was lucky with that. Now I have to find what goes there. Wait a minute. Barge. I win! This is this challenge is definitely easier than previous two days challenges. Alright, it says core played 100 percent for current streak for max streak. Because I just started doing it on this computer. I don't have an account. I don't pay Roto often enough. But it's for this week. Alright. Um, nice quick one. I didn't have to pause as much. If only I thought of 
that yesterday and the day before to give me more time to, to think. Um, should I include my reaction to Gun Ranks videos here? Oh. Well, no, no, I can't really change the preview size, and I only want to make one recording. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you're smart, click the like button. Click, and if you're genius, click the subscribe button. You'll see me next time. Tomorrow will be the last Ska vs. Ranksk challenge, and they're not tying. I think Ranksk is winning. Actually, did Ranksk win the first three challenges? I think he did. So, no way Scott can catch up. Um, Um, uh, alright. I've already said my culture, I don't know why. Stop it. I don't know, I'm still talking. I do not need to fill the 15 minutes, in fact, I should make this as short as I as possible. Okay. I'll just say my outro again. Check out Scott and Scott's video and Rank's video and the other videos on the channel. Actually, Scott has an. A, has two channels, Scott's Drill Solves, where he plays different games, puzzles, and stuff. Like ranks, but then Scott also has another channel called Here's Something Interesting, where he just shares interesting facts about a variety of subjects and topics, like, uh, what is a, f a fruit or a vegetable? Is a tomato a uh, vegetable or a fruit? And he also talked about colorblindness, because he's colorblind. And there's another video about, uh, an interesting math problem with hiding uh, a seat on a plane. Like, uh, the first guy doesn't know where his seat is, so he sits in a random seat, but everybody else knows where their seat is. But, and, uh, um, they go in order with their seats. And then, if the, whatever current person you're in has not been seated yet, if their seat is taken, they go into a random seat. If their seat is available, they take their seat. So basically, the first guy is random, and then the next guy sits in his own seat, if it's available. When you get to, when you get to the last guy, what is the probability the last guy sits in his own seat? You want to add any commentary? I, I solved it pretty quickly. Scott Scrollsaw is that's how you cut your ranks wood. <laughs> oh, you know, I noticed some similarities between the movie Despicable Me, not sponsored, and the one with Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson. Uh, oh, um, Toronto. The man from Toronto. Yeah. Those movies are very similar because both have a main character that's the bad guy, which is Toronto and Gru. They're bad guys. And they're but both, they're the main character. And, and they were, both wear black, and they're tall, and they have a big nose. I can't remember. Is Woody bald? I can't yeah, remember. he's bald. Gru's bald, too. Gru's bald. <laughs> and you have to ask, or no, you have to root for the good guy, or well, the bad guy, which is actually the main character, you have to, but you have to root for him. And then the Miami guy wears orange, the man from Miami. Like Vector. Vector wears orange and white, and Miami wears orange and white. And they are the good guy good guys but they're you don't root for them you, you you want them to lose and then also toronto and grew towards the end of, the, of their respective movies they become better they become light-hearted because of a plot device character that's p put in their lives well with grew it's the girls that change his heart into a better guy and then it was teddy that changed toronto into a better guy so there we go. A lot of similarities. And uh, so if you've seen both movies, which probably no one else in the universe has seen both, but if you have, then you know they're actually kind of spookily similar. Goodbye. We've also wa more recently watched another movie that has Woody Harrelson. Actually, two movies. Now You See Me, and Now You See Me Too. And my question is, who's Daniel in the... 
at least this, the second movie. Who, who's Daniel? Is he Jesse Eisenberg? Or is he, what was the character's name? Walter? Who's played by Daniel Radcliffe. And also, Atlas and Radcliffe have same vowel sounds. Um, Alright. Greg Scott probably not watching this far. They're only interested in the world of Saw, which was uh, a long time ago. And you know what was the anyway, I'm just going to say my outro. And if you're smart, click the like button. If you're genius, click the subscribe button. You'll see me next time. Yeah. It looks like. Scott made this short for my brother, Ryan. I'm sorry if you got in trouble. I bet his name is Ryan. <laughs> sorry if you got in trouble. That, that's uh... a... <laughs> okay, so whenever my brother gets in trouble, it's actually not his... There was a thunderstorm outside. Anyway... I guess we can blame Scott for all the trouble my brother has caused. Hunting... Oh, hunting for clues. Oh, well, um... Is there a ride on the board? Yeah, there is. And then Rinsk is also on the board. No, I'm kidding. That's just Risk. Um... If you are smart, click the like button. If you are, uh... Uh, a, a, a sorry ducky <laughs> then uh, um okay okay should I try to sell this board on my own here uh, it's an after black thing and, that, and it makes the video so much longer as, uh, huh, interest, interesting you know, the band and a bond similar to the pad and pod from uh, I guess those are earlier this week um Actually, I have no clue. I have no clue. Um, I'm getting too much trouble here. Now, this sole, like uh, on the like uh, bottom of the foot, or is or is it a fish? Is it pronounced the same way? I don't know. Um. Oh, there is this sole. Uh, cement? What would cement go with? Uh. Oh, part of the foot? So, heel? But I don't know what else. Shoelace? I'm sorry, I have no clue. Uh. James Bond? Is there a person named James Hunt, or James Ryan, or James Smart, James Ducky, James Strosa? <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, uh, tongue in cheek? No. Shoelace? Shoe sole? Shoe heel? Shoe, 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 shoe cement? I don't know. Alright. I want to end this hunt right here. And I I'll watch this short on my own later. Yeah, it's still going. Alright, I'm going to stop it right now.